So I'm in a, a big welcome to, to Leighton Orient. It's, uh, joining us as the goalkeeping coach must be a, a good opportunity for yourself. Yeah, I uh, didn't think I was going to get back in. It's been, been over a year now since I left Gillingham, um, almost a year, uh, the end of July last year. Um, but yeah, great opportunity, ambitious club, um, getting to work with somebody I know from my playing days in Kenny um, and, and Joe Gallen. Uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's an opportunity that I'm really looking forward to. Mm. You mentioned there, obviously, you were with Kenny Jacket um, a while ago, I believe it was at QPR. So yeah. uh, what is Kenny like to work with and, and what are you looking forward to working with him again? He's um, straight down the line, straight talker. You know, he knows the game inside out, um, wants everything done right, which is which half the battle, I think, um, very organised. Um, he, um, he was the assistant manager under Ian Holloway there. Um, and you could see that he had management potential um, and his record now speaks for itself. You look at some of the clubs he's managed. Um, I think it's a great coup for the club, to be honest. In terms of yourself, obviously a professional goalkeeper and then into a uh, goalkeeping coach. Um, do you want to give us a little rundown on your career and then also your, your career as a goalkeeping coach as well? Well, I started, I, got, I was playing non-league and I got picked up um, from Harry Swifts in 1991 by Dave Webb. Went to South End, spent seven and a half seasons there. Some great times there. Um, went to Charlton in the Premier League, and then from there went to Leicester. Went back to Charlton, had a few loan spells, um, and then obviously the QPR one. Uh, played at Gillingham, um, and then left Gillingham and went to Brentford um, as player coach. Still registered for the first couple of seasons, and then spent six years coaching. Uh, I think five of them were in the Championship. Mm. And as a goalkeeping coach yourself, you'll have the opportunity to work um, work with a, a good team of, of goalkeepers here. What are you most looking forward to? I think just being getting the gloves back on and the boots back on and the day-to-day -day training. Um, I think what I've missed most is match days. I really miss match days. Um, that buzz, you know, it's going to be great that there's, fingers crossed, there'll be, there'll be uh, supporters in the stadiums. Um, but it is that day-to-day -day working with the goalkeepers um, training, um, watching them grow uh, and watching them hopefully they're doing well in the matches. Just finally, there's obviously been a, a bit of a turnaround in playing staff and, and staff behind the scenes as well. Um, it must be, I guess, a, a big task ahead to, to get everyone together and, and get to know each other. That's where you need to hit the ground running. You know, um, it's, it's helped me a little bit knowing a couple of the staff members already. I know, I know Matt Harold, um, we was on AUA for B licence together a couple of seasons ago, a couple of years ago. Um, so it's not like I'm coming into somewhere new where I don't know anyone, which has helped me a little bit. Um, but like I said, I think now that the staff we are getting together is is right for for League One and League the Championship.